Hey there, Emma here. Today I'm gonna to be making this super cute little teapot fun fold card. So we're gonna start out by cutting pattern paper. You can see the measurements at the bottom of the screen. We're gonna need a tag, a piece of cardstock, and two other little pattern papers. This cardstock is just gonna add some stability to the strip of pattern paper so that it doesn't flop all around. We're gonna start by scoring the, our base card at two and one eighth inch. And we can attach these strips of pattern paper. And these can be layered and glued together. This could be attached together. And we're going to take this pattern strip and we're going to score it at four and a quarter, which would be the middle of your card, and six and three eighths. And this can be attached to your card. You're going to put glue under the right side of that six and three eighths score line. And then you're going to also add glue or any adhesive onto the first part of the longer strip. So it just attaches on that very first panel. And we're going to add our stamping. For all of the stamping, I use sponge daubers to add different colors, ink to each of the stamps. I did the same for my teapot and the little teacup. For the yellow hearts, I didn't stamp directly onto the yellow pad because it was too dark, so I used a sponge dauber to apply a little bit lighter yellow color. And then the same for the steam. I used two different color grays to give a little bit of a dimension. And all of these pieces were fussy cut out. I used two different thicknesses of 3D foam just to kind of give everything a little bit of layering. And everything gets attached to the tag. I like to leave things overhanging the edge a little bit. You can see having the thicker foam on that teapot helps it pop out above everything else. And a little heart in the middle. And that gets attached to the front so that it hides your cinnamon inside. And if you'd like, you can add some ribbon or string to the tag. Thanks so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. I can also be found at emmahartspaper.com and on Instagram at emmahartspaper.